today we're going to uh, bring you on an install. Uh, we're taking about a two hour drive up to uh, Norfolk, Nebraska. We've got uh, five uh, containers to install today. Come along for the ride. some indoors we've done some outdoors uh, the project we're doing today is uh, all outdoors so as you can see behind we have our trailer that uh, helps us because uh, a couple of these are 40 footers so you've got three different sizes of trailers you've got uh, an 8 by 20 an 8 by 40 and then you got like a 9 by 40 um, so they've got the ribs that makes it a little more of a challenge um, trying to find your center is a little bit harder uh, So I can show you on our sheet how we find our center we mark it What else Josh anything else to think of? Uh, one thing you always do is you check the height To make sure that the height isn't you know, it could be fluctuate from 108 to 96 just depending on how you have to adjust your measurement That was one thing that I that was hard for me at the beginning was having to understand how to get that measurement adjusted. That's one thing. Right, so some of these trailers, or sorry, not trailers, but uh, some of these containers that we uh, do, we don't always see them before we do them. We're just told they're 20 foot wide or they're 40 foot wide. So we don't actually know the height of them. So when we design them, we design them based off of an eight foot height that way. And then so we have measurements that are based off the eight foot height. So if we get there and they're nine foot tall, then we recalculate our measurements based off of, uh, you know, taking the height, dividing it, and then finding our average. So, um, also when we do the containers, you know, indoors we can use tape. There's not much wind. There's no sun. Uh, when we're outside doing them, you've got the weather. You've got the sun. You got the dirt. You got, you know, you may have wind on one side, not on the other. So we, what we do with the outdoor ones is we bring our magnets that we use for vehicles. That way it holds on to it better. If you use tape, the tape is fine, but you got to tape top and bottom. And you got to tape off in a lot of spots. When we have the magnets, they're strong enough to hold on to some of these larger stuff. So what we're doing today, I think some of this stuff's around three foot tall letters. Uh, then the bottom line of text is maybe close to a foot tall. But what we do is we, uh, over the ridges, we'll just uh, use our magnets or we use our tape to be on the high side. And then we'll go through and we'll cut vertically and do each individual letter or do a set of letters, maybe two or three letters at a time. That way we can go way up and down these valleys and peaks. Makes it a little bit easier. And then we'll use, uh, based on our center point, we'll have measurements to you know mark this logo where it's located. Anything else uh, you think? So when you're taping it up, how do you tape it up? Do you tape just straight across? Do you do each rib? I do, uh, well, if I'm doing it indoors, I'll just tape, we'll just tape the outer edges. Once we got those right, then we'll go through and tape every high side ridge. Now outdoors here, we'll probably put magnets on the uh, outside upper ribs at the bottom of it. So we'll have four, and then we'll probably put two in the middle somewhere. Hold on to it, and then we'll go through and put tape. How do you determine where you cut to uh, work with what pieces you're going to work with? I usually uh, make it so that I always have two supporting hinges. So I'll have, uh, on two high sides, I'll have a piece of tape or magnets that hold the tape, tape down, but I can show you that when we get to the install. It's, it's not too... Uh, it's not too hard. The tricky thing is the wind. You know, you're putting something up that's three foot by twenty foot. It's like a, it's like holding on to a kite. It's super hard. So, nice thing about our trailer is we'll have uh, we have benches in there, and 
we can actually get our stuff out, organize it. We're not in the wind. We're not in the sun. The stuff's not getting hot. Makes it a little bit easier to work with when uh, we can unroll it, can do a little bit of trim work, get it prepared to put on, and then take it outside the trailer and put it up on the, on the container. The, uh, you know, if you got to work just out of this truck and you got a three foot by 20 foot piece you're doing, super hard to work with in the wind. It just wants to fly away from you. So the trailer, we found this trailer. We don't use it a lot, but we use it on jobs like this where we're going outside into the weather, into a spot that has no power, no nothing. So it also blocks the wind too. Yeah, we can, we can position it to block the wind if we need to, if we have the room around a container or a trailer or whatever we're doing. We were supposed to take you on a tour on how to do storage containers. Um, however, it got real hot today, so we kind of had a harder time with it. Um, but the main thing that happened about two o'clock, you can see behind me some storms started to try to roll, roll in. Um, so then we just kind of had to kick it up a gear and get it done a little faster. But we did get all five of the storage containers done. Um, so a pretty good trip. Uh, you can see we got one behind me right here. There was one next to it, they already took it. I mean, it's already out to where it's supposed to go. So maybe on our next time we got a storage unit or a storage container, we'll, we'll take you on tour better to show you how to do it or how to explain it a little bit better. But yeah, a lot of fun. And while we're trimming uh, season three, this will be uh, some new videos. We'll be working on a container. We've got some uh, stuff on a camper to show you stuff like that uh, if there's stuff that you would like to see maybe there's an install that's hard for you or something that uh, you would like to see what other people do uh, put that in the comments below you know we do read those we do try to respond to them so if there's something you'd like to see let us know